density. Similarly, macrophage is a selective pervert as well. I hate to call it a pervert, it's a big ass, bad, bad ass dude, but I really like it. So anyways, so let's say here is a macrophage. So this macrophage this macrophage just saw on this side and he is really really happy he saw that there is a cell near it and macrophage also has a cd31 on it do not forget this concept pay attention to this concept it's not written everywhere i had to really dig up the neutrophils and macrophages to go figure this out but very very important thing macrophage has a cd31 on it neutrophil has a cd31 on it this is like we have hand shaking so we have limbs and hands to do the handshakes hopefully we, we do many other things with them but handshake is one of them cd31 is a handshake between a macrophage and a neutrophil what happens is when the neutrophil is passing by in the tissue and having fun and saying okay I'm going to go and do something with the and defend the body, defend our country, defend our cells, macrophage engages with the CD31. So now macrophage CD31 and neutrophil CD31 they both engage with each other. Now this is critical, this is very critical and not written everywhere so be careful. Now it is neutrophil's job to tell the macrophage that hey I am an active functioning neutrophil. Remember healthy cells and unhealthy cells? Every cell can become healthy, not just the body's normal citizen cells, but even these defense cells can become unhealthy. It is macrophage's duty, so this is important, write it down somewhere, underline it, and this is macrophage's duty to figure out if a neutrophil has become unhealthy or has done its function, has become aged, has become old and it is macrophage's duty to get rid of that neutrophil. This is that getting rid part. So macrophage came in contact with the neutrophil. Now neutrophil's job is to show the macrophage an ID, say hey you know what I am active. So what it does is neutrophils sends chemical substances which act on the macrophage surface receptors. Those surface receptors then have the second messenger system which go to the nucleus, act there and then nucleus would send proteins which would help CD31 to disengage and you know how would that happen. So the cellular proteins then would become activated and finally this CD31 would become disengaged. If it becomes disengaged, this neutrophil is home free, he's going to be happy, right? Hey, I, I could tell the macrophage, I'm all set, I'm doing my function, leave me alone. If this chemical substance is not produced by the neutrophil, and think about it, it's logical. Why will it not be produced? because the neutrophil is not functioning correctly. When will neutrophil not function correctly? When it has exhausted its functional stores or when it is too aged, when its proteins are damaged, when it has been fighting and bacteria have been damaging it or when it is living in low oxygen situations which is going to be very common in the case of defense areas. A tissue which is undergoing a defense battle that tissue is getting damaged by bacteria, viruses, fungi or just simple. So inflammation is happening, repair is happening and what is happening is that the neutrophil is sitting in there. It has less oxygen. So although neutrophil can work with the, with the glycogen in low oxygen uh, times as well, but usually, so do not forget this, usually when a neutrophil has killed 4 to 20 bacteria it has become old, right? So neutrophil's life is counted in terms of how many bacteria it has killed. 
So from 4 to 20 bacteria when it has killed them, its job is done. And when its job is done, when it has become old, when the cellular machinery has become rusted out, it stops making these chemical substances. It is too tired to show the identity. Unfortunately, it is too tired to tell the macrophage that, hey, you know what, I'm on your side. So it's all sleepy and it says, well, handshake, but it doesn't give the chemical substance. And when this doesn't come, this triggers the macrophage to phagocytose the neutrophil and kill it. So that is how neutrophils which go to the battlefield are taken care of. They are removed by macrophages. There is one important thing, this I found, I had to find it, I don't know how many books I went through. One important thing, whenever macrophages do phagocytosis, normally as part of phagocytosis, they release chemical mediators which are for lysosomal activity, which are for tissue de degradations and to kill the bacteria. In this particular case, when the macrophage is phagocytosing this neutrophil, it will not, it will not release the chemical substances into the tissue. 